Thanks for staying with us. Now, a day after the United States of America announced the death of the most wanted man in the world, Osama bin Laden, there have been uh, reactions coming in from the state of Tamil Nadu. The chief minister of the state, M. Karunanidhi, has also reacted. He said that those who live violently will die violently. He added that this terrorist's life was a lesson that those who live by the sword will also die by the sword. Many try to label Osama's terrorism as Islamic terrorism, but we cannot accept it. Moving on, the Reserve Bank of India today increased the policy rates to rein in increasing inflation. The repo rate at which the RBI provides credit to banks has been hiked by 50 basis points. The reverse repo rate, which from now onwards will be 100 basis points below the repo rate, as a rule, has also gone up by 0.5 percentage points uh, to 6.25%. This is the ninth hike since... Uh, March 2010 and will certainly push interest rates upwards, making loans costlier. A hike in policy rates forces banks to increase interest rates, which now make auto, home, and other loans expensive. In fact, the governor came and I had a discussion with him. It was agreed upon that there should be a 50 basis points increase, both in repo rate and reverse repo rate. Because the corridor of 1% we are maintaining. This was necessary to contain inflation. Inflationary pressure in the economy is still working very high. If you compare the figure of WPI in the month of July, it was around 10%. It came down to 8.1% uh, in November. But again it started behaving erratically. And it moved to 9% in the month of March. Even the core inflation in the month of March is 7%. Therefore, it was considered necessary to contain inflation. And in the context of the volatility of commodity prices, including energy prices and food prices in the international market, it was considered necessary to take appropriate measures to contain the demand side. On to some international news now. Pakistan is now facing tough questions from Washington on how Osama bin Laden managed to stay in Pakistan without the knowledge of anyone in the establishment. As Islamabad continues to claim that it had no knowledge of Osama staying in a well-fortified mansion in the country's garrison town of Abbottabad, a short distance from the military academy. The United States is now doing some plain speak. At a press briefing, the counter-terrorism advisor to President Obama said it was not possible that Osama could have stayed in Pakistan without a support system. And that's what the United States is now trying to find out from the Pakistani government. Uh, we are looking right now at uh, how he was able to hold out there for so long and whether or not there was any type of support system within Pakistan that allowed him to uh, stay there. I think it's inconceivable that uh, bin Laden did not have a support system in the country that allowed him to remain there for an extended period of time. Uh, I am not going to speculate about what type of support he might have had on an official basis uh, in, inside of Pakistan. Uh, we, we are closely talking to the Pakistanis right now. And again, we are uh, leaving open uh, opportunities to continue to uh, uh, pursue whatever leads might be out there. And finally, it may be what college students enjoy best, getting on to projects in their final year ahead of graduation. But how useful, educative or fun can this really be? My colleague Pratiksha Ram Kumar brings us this trendy story. Lovely, aren't they? 30 students from National Institute of Fashion Technology, Chennai, spent 18 weeks working as interns in various textile and paper craft houses across the country. And each one of them came up with these designs. And yes, they do take into account what the trend will be in the near future. Uh, people do their projects in different places all over India, Bombay, Bangalore, Jharkhand, Rachi, there are so many places and learning about them, some, some of them go to the clusters, you know, in small places, small workshops over there, some uh, go to export houses, so it's nice, you know, we get a lot of exposure and then it, 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 it definitely helps us, it's, it's like a link between our college life and our job that we're going to do after four years.
What is more, while dabbing with designs and experimenting with fabrics, the students also remember to go green and stay environment friendly. I've also done a recycling collection where I've used the waste that is lying in the uh, company. So I've, I picked up that waste and I've made products out of it. With some attention to detail and a free run to the imagination, these students have given us a taste of things to come. In Chennai, with Pratiksha, Zoya Thomas for NDTV Hindu. And that's a wrap on the headlines. Now up next is the news in Tamil. Thanks very much indeed for being with us.